Hi everyone, this is Deborah, and in this video I'm going to show you how to change the placeholder text in a content control object. Okay, on my screen I have a blank Word document with just a table, a one cell table here, and I've placed my flashing insertion point inside the table. And the reason why we do that is because uh, when you create content control objects like drop-down lists and things, it's best to put them into a table if you can because that helps to align them properly on the page. Okay, so um, what I need are certain tools that I don't have on my ribbon right now. I'm looking at the Home tab and the tools that I need are on the Developer tab. The Developer tab is placed here. I'm going to click on it and you'll see the controls that we need are right in here. Now, typically you won't see the Developer tab when you're working with Word until you bring it into the ribbon yourself. It's not a default setting. And if you want to learn how to bring the Developer tab onto your ribbon, check out the other video that where I show you how to do that. Okay, in this video the Developer tab is already here and uh, the content control that I want to put into this particular cell is a text box. So I want to click either rich text content control or plain text content control. Plain text is pretty boring and dull and you can't really do anything to it. Um, but this one, the rich text is much better, it looks better, it's easier to read. So I'm going to choose that one. Okay. And so it automatically brought in the whole finished thing, the whole text box is here, and the placeholder text is automatically placed in here as well. This is the placeholder text. It says click or tap here to enter text. That's the default uh, wording that uh, Word puts into it. But when you want to change the wording of the placeholder text, what you have to do is make sure, first of all, make sure that it's highlighted. So if I click away, you know, if I do something else outside the table for a while and I want to come back and do it later, I can just place my mouse anywhere on top of this text here and click once and it will select the whole thing. Then I want to come up into the controls group and I want to choose Design Mode. When I click Design Mode, it uh, displays the two tabs on either end of the Content Control object, and it highlights the placeholder text. This is what that's what this is. It's placeholder text, and you can change the placeholder text just by simply typing on it. Now, if I just start typing. and then click away. It's, uh, it automatically picks up the color of the font as black. Now if I get out of design mode, it stays black and that might throw some people off. If you were um, someone filling out a form online and you saw this the way it is with black font, you might wonder, gee, am I supposed to click on that? It looks like it's already filled in. What do I do? So what we highly recommend is that you don't use black text. Instead, make it the um, placeholder color, which is a light gray color. So here's what I'm going to do. When you first insert the content control object, before you do anything else, it's important to realize that when you click design mode, you don't just start typing right away. What you do is you click, you can click anywhere in here to deselect it. And then what you want to do is select by clicking and dragging. Okay, you want to click and drag across it after deselecting it. So now if I start to type, notice that it is not dark black text, it is the light gray. So if this is what I want people to see, I want it to be this grayish color, which indicates kind of a, of a direction or a label. So now if I click away from the table and deselect design mode, notice that 
it doesn't change into the dark black text it stays gray and that is how you want your placeholder text to look